All right. So we're going to do introductions. I guess so. Although Robert apparently went to the bathroom. But let's, uh, so let's start with someone else and hopefully he'll be back by the time we're done. Uh, Feta, who is figuring out how to bust a wall. Uh, let's start with you. Yeah, I'm Gar, total necromancer, living for that dream of getting my family back, even though they hate me. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Griffin. Hey, everybody, I'm Griffin. I'm playing Kicks the Shield, who is not outside. <laughs> and also is playing poker. <laughs> uh, then we have Justin. Uh, all right, I'm playing Marcus Klein Ollivander. Uh, and yeah. I am a once noble human who's coming back to regain his wealth in the city of Greyhawk. Also, was outside, now <laughs> inside. Eventually, will be back outside. Uh, Pandren? Hey, I'm playing Barricat, the guy who isn't here and is not helping Gar actively. Specifically, not helping him. Uh, also, probably fairly tired, maybe bloody hands, you know? And when uh, we're all also, he's in fact inside right now, though. Fun fact. Ooh. <laughs> they are mostly words. I think I... Yeah. Specifically, not. <laughs> I do only have one nonverbal spell, though. Sorry, two nonverbal spells, but one of them's a cantrip. You're a bard. That makes sense. Yeah, pretty much. He and also, thinking, oh. someone who would have been great at distracting all these people would have been the bard. Perhaps. All I've right, got an right, 18 right. charisma. Like, I'm, I'm going to jump in and start to actually do my part. I was just waiting until things happened. Yeah, things are happening. going to happen first. And... <laughs> Ooh. No, 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 no. Just sister. Sister. Yeah, we heard. We heard. <laughs> we're, we're, we hang out around Narwhal. We gotta be real specific. <laughs> That's all nobility, basically. Yeah. Oh, yes. And, of course, uh, the one person who's not here yet, Rob, who is in critical danger in the back rooms, looking at a whole bunch of loot and surrounding himself with darkness. I think he actually managed to grab the loot, but yeah, he's got the loot. Mm -hmm. He has some of the loot. Yeah, but he tried to oh, he tried to open something else and failed. Yeah, it'll be entertaining. He also took like four turns worth of actions or something. Yeah, and also he's just exceptionally fast. Like, yeah. the problem is, the one person here who can actually see in that darkness is in that room, but if I go there, I'm suspicious. Yeah, like, if we see the darkness, I look over and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, and I see through it. <laughs> I mean, I think you can peek around that corner there. It's if it's within range. That's that's the problem. If it's within 100, 120 feet, I see it. Just like right in there. He has... Yeah, he has either the thing, but potentially he could get more things. Yeah. yeah, like that thing though, that thing by itself, 
is enough damage done to reputation. Like, that well, thing is a real thing. Big thing, as they say. You know what? Once we get that, I'm. Pr I, I, if we if we all choose a, choose to pull, I am in. Cool. Cool. Um, powerful one might say. Um, if we do want to pull from the deck of many things, I can shovel shuffle my physical copy instead of like us like doing some roll, and then people can tell me when to stop. I... Yeah, yeah, I get it. The problem was I tried to get another deck organized, and for some reason the system wouldn't allow me to do it. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will be back for a little while because we just had a big accident that just happened. We just had a uh, glass cabinet fall in the bathroom. So, ooh, ooh. okay. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I don't know when I'll be back, but I give you permission to use my character as need be. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> so no, as I was saying, if we if we wish to, this is a physical copy which we can pull from. We'll see. Uh, well, who wants to take? Uh, well. Pandaren, you're not in there, so you can actually You're control control uh, Leo for the moment. Do that. <laughs> okay, so last time I was going to jump in on initiative. Yeah. So I could actually be useful in this situation. Sure Go was. Ahead. Okay, let me show, let me give you control. Let me and we'll get everybody control of Leo that way. Anybody can. If they Jokes want. on you. I've always had control of Leo. Is it nighttime right now? Yes. We just need to shatter one spot in the wall so Lael can teleport out of there. Yeah, okay, yep. you, uh, everybody has control. Lael, uh, Pendering, you can control him while, you know. Well, I can look at his character sheet. Yes. See what he can do. There's an area of darkness here that covers all this area right here, but it's... yeah. So the guards have entered here. Uh, also, I said that with these guards also comes the halfling owner of the... And she's pulling out a wand. And uh, and the, the elf behind me. Okay. I got an Marcus, 11, not a 20. Okay. Okay. Let me... Uh, um. Yeah, Okay, so previously he tried to open one of these boxes, but couldn't, right? Yeah, he he opened the safe, but he also tried to open this um, chest, and he couldn't open the chest. He did activate a trap that it was there. Okay, is the chest, like, secured? Is it a... It's in a... It's... it's, it's a, there's a space in the wall that chest is, is jammed into. There it was also like a poison if the... Uh, yeah. If you weren't successful, there was a so I poison... think the plan was to get out of there. A poison needle, and it's mm -hmm. like a very heavy chest, like metal and 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 heavy wood. Okay, I mean, what can he what can he do here? Usually, it's the kind of chest you want to move with at least two people. There's two chests. There's two chests uh, and a safe in this wall, which is part of the wall. Oh, actually, he should be. Because that remember the last thing he did was also his last thing of haste. Yeah, and haste has an end effect, which is I'm I casting don't think it it's again. Been ten rounds, he's been in there. Uh, he's been doing a lot of stuff. I just remember that lesson said because he we, a lot of the yeah, stuff he yeah, was doing wasn't in turn order. Wasn't in turn order. Because you remember he also that. ran around the building a couple of times before mm -hmm. haste actually. Because I hasted him before you even entered the place. Fair enough. Uh, when the spell ends, the target can't move or take actions until after its next turn. So his turn ended, and now mm -hmm. he's in lethargy. So the next person are the guards. The guards are standing there. You see the the uh, these other guards are marching in, and uh, it's a magical effect. The darkness. There sure is. Uh, so uh, the 
the halfling, which with regard sort of takes a um actually yeah, cast a light spell. And the darkness is a, um but not the what no, that's not a light spell. There's a one that actually dispels darkness. Oh, yeah, I feel like it, it, if it's the that. light cantrip, it darkness no, snuffs it out. No, 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 there's a different spell that yeah. does stuff. Um, um, I think it's level three or lower in darkness. It says screw you. Yeah. Is it like sunlight? Any spell overlaps with the area light created by the spell and a. And of second level or lower, the spell can really light is a spell. Yeah, so it doesn't happen. Yeah. So it has to be, uh, yeah. Oh, she just she just whips it one, and the one is a dispel magic one. So, yeah, she dispels it. Yeah. So now the guards are on their turn. They're going to start coming in. It's very the convenient being... to have a wand of whatever magic I need at the time. I mean... If she's dealing with magical effects, the best way to do is to have a dispel magic wand. Does she have a belt of wands? No, just that one. Yeah, it'd be real convenient for her now. Yeah, she does have other uh, little pouches and pouches and belts on her belt, but, you know. Yeah, so the spell so that she... counters darkness is daylight. Yeah, but she didn't cast light, it's just to dispel magic. Yeah. But these guys are entering and are carefully looking over what's going on. Uh, they're not rushing in. And these four position themselves here so nobody can come out. And when people ask, they just sort of, you know, go like, move along, move along. Um, in fact, they close all the doors. Uh, other members have closed the doors. So now the, door, the doors are closed. So Marcus, uh, yeah, there were two guards here. They're still there. Uh, and when you got up, it's like, yeah, sir, don't worry about it, sir. Um, you can keep playing. No, no, no. Complaints. When they say that. Mm -hmm. uh, that is when I'm going to go into... I I am not going to keep playing. There is clearly a trouble afoot. I came here to relax when I'm dealing with legal proceedings. Me and my companions are going to leave. And I want to rile up the entire room to get us barging out of here. I will also make eye contact with the people who know what's going on. The only person... Well, yeah, they're there. Because we did bring some of the usual suspects. Yeah. One of them is eyeing this window right here. Uh, you know, you, you notice that he does a quick glance of the window and then looks back at you like, <laughs> like, hey, there are other ways to deal with this. I give him a thumb. Uh, what I'll do is behind my back, because I'm, I'm moving my hands and I'm being a piece of shit. I'll just do this, like a quick thumbs up behind the back while I'm berating these guards. Yeah, they raise their hands like, sir, it's nowhere we are taken care of. Uh, it's just a small altercation. We'll be dealing with it shortly. Uh, we, we can comp all your, uh, your, and your meal or, and, your, and your drinks. Uh, complimentary, don't worry about it, sir. Uh, they're being, you know, trying to be diplomatic, but also putting their, your, their bodies between you and everyone else. So it's hard for them to hear or see you. Not impossible, because you're, you're talking very loudly, and so it carries. And people are sort of rubbernecking them. You know, uh, but the casino uh, crew, if you will, are trying to, uh, you know, to to be as professional and calm as possible. Okay. Uh, um, so people people are hearing you're making in this round. You're making yourself heard and everything. And that's how they react. Uh, I'll have you make a roll next round. Perfect. Mm -hmm. If I do still technically have an action. Mm hmm. If I get the chance, actually, no, no, I'm going to save spells or anything. I'm just going to go with that and then get the help action from uh, from uh, Kix if possible. Okay. With the fact that Kix isn't on the plan. Okay. Uh, Gar, you're outside and you hear that the, they close the doors behind you. So I have cast Fireball. I mean, Shatter. <laughs> Where do you cast Shatter? On oh, this wall right here. Okay. Because Shatter has a 10-foot radius on the bar on the spot, so boom, boom, it's not going to affect Lael, and obviously it's not going to affect me. So it only hits the wall. Damage. Yeah, hold on. I don't remember. I cast the spell, does it do it, or... 
do I have it on the? If you cast the spell, thing. it does it. Nope. There we go. Uh, if I hit the short casting, I meant. It. Oh, yep. if you hit the short casting, it will. Yeah. Was, yeah. Whoa! I forgot that done all these are options for me. Little five. There we go. Yeah. Uh, the walls well, of the stone, they're not, you know, they're not castle walls. And, you know, the, 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 this wall just implodes as it's, and it's a big thunder. And inside, everything chases, like, and, and she's the, and she starts giving orders uh, to everybody. And, 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 and the guards are, uh, are moving to, uh, more guards are moving to go outside to see what the hell's happening. But they're coming from this direction. Uh, so, uh, Leo, in this case, what do you do? All this, the everything, the entire wall exploded. Let me give a saving throw for at least this guy right here. One saving throw. Um, so, there's no darkness. Entire wall is fucking gone. Yeah. Um, the second box, is it also like heavy metal and whatnot? Yeah, both of them are. I think the plan's to get out of there. And I'm standing outside like Jafar at the beginning of a Yeah, there's a... Give me your head! Give there's me the up. lamp! Um... Would the... Where the wall is be any check to get over it, or just, like, difficult terrain? Difficult terrain. Okay. You just teleport. I'm just asking. Or run along the other wall. It's not destroyed. Yeah. yeah, no. This guy, you did nine points of damage. He is very wounded. Not dead, but he's very wounded. You are a parkour master, after all. Yeah, you can do that. You can wall through, you know, wall jump, etc. 60 feet to an unoccupied space. So is there dim light in here? Pretty much so. All it's, right. It's dark outside. I, I think his... Plan is probably just teleport out then, yeah. Okay. Um, how far? Are you, how far are you teleporting? Maximum distance? Probably. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I can go like, yeah, out here. I, I can't actually see out there, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna have to kind of maneuver my way through all of here, this. Here, here, here. Hold on. Is oh teleport... crap! I can't push you. Is the, is the is the teleport an action or bonus action? Action. Action. Yeah. In right. that case, you could teleport and then move, uh, move yeah, twice. Yeah. Yeah. So, teleports out there, and I assume he'd just leave. Like, like look at Gar for. Well, I say confirmation. Yes, yeah, so stop. I'll just cast fly on you. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Uh, but also there's guards behind us. Yeah, right. like he I can really feet say, I really feel like Lail in defensive mode. No, no, you couldn't. You already took multiple actions. Never mind. Well, that's a that's a bonus action. He could also just like hide. No, no, I, I was thinking if you took the dodge action, you'd be safer on a turn to get me to get fly on you. But you've already taken a bunch of actions, so um, just just a bonus action. Is dodge a bonus action? I, oh wait! I mean, I'm sorry. The real Lail is back. Yeah, yeah. The real Lail is back. Uh, I'm not gonna. Okay. Uh, Let's let we... him. So uh, update. We have a mechanic coming soon, so I'm okay. gonna be in and out a lot tonight. I think. What's happening? What did I miss? Um. Apparently, I that mechanics can fix glass. The wall exploded. Tell I... outside. Okay, the then. Movement. Gar wants to cast fly on you, but the guards go before him. Dar wants to cast fly on me. I think I can run faster than the guards. I, I'm pretty yeah, sure I'm that, fine. My, my recommendation was run because you tell yeah. teleport thirty feet, then book it a hundred. Or right, six. Hon honestly, that's what I would do. So, so yeah, I run out. I just run out and I go away, and hopefully nobody noticed I had one arm. Well, you do have the the clothing that ha hides your other arm, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. And the award to the special occasion, right? I probably would have, but I don't honestly remember saying so. It's a high week, class so. casino. You weren't wearing your ratty ass clothes, they wouldn't let you in. That's true. Alrighty. So I'm off the map then, I assume. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, uh, the, the guards, guards just the guards are moving here, and you hear a yeah, guard, you hear that they're opening their doors. 
next round they'll come out right again they don't they're not rushing because they don't want to cause a panic right they you know they're trying to be as professional as possible well, I mean, also, to... if they think there's a wizard out here, you don't want to run face first in that wizard that said, I hold action to whoever opens that door to fireball them. Yeah, these guys are not that smart. I mean, they're not stupid, but, yeah. Uh, uh, Marcus, you you know, the the whole building shook. Uh, oh. and you hear, like, an explosion, and and, and and you hear this guy dragging out a wound, his wounded partner. Like, uh, and he's like, like a piece of stone just hit him in the head, and he's like, the blood is coming out for those who can for the audience anyway. It's like and she's like, damn it all. Um and she okay. and she disappears. So on that note, I will increase the level of stress and just to the guard. I am leaving, whether it's through that window or through the door. I was here for a good time. Walls are exploding, buildings are shaking. And you see the the elven, uh, you know, uh, second in command. Basically, she uh, he's like, sir, sir, uh, we're dealing with the situation. As you can see, uh, my my per my men are working working the area. Uh, so he's trying to convince people. No, he's trying to uh, kind of. So we're gonna do a my role versus your role, basically. Hell yeah, contested, baby! Contested role. He has a plus three. Okay, cool. Ten. ten. Yeah. I have and, a and, plus and, and, eight to deception. And the other ones are, everybody's like, you know, I don't know if Kix is also the deal. The other ones are getting it was like, yeah, sir, we are not here for me. You know, exploded by magics and the like. Hey, we're going to have a good time. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, I, yeah, so they're joining I, in. I, they're, they're I'm, joining I'm getting in. help from the group, and I get a 22. And you start hearing people outside going like, and then these three guards, this guy's guards opening the door, and these guards are you know, they turn around and go like, and they're like, all of a sudden they realize that all the other patients are getting excited. They stop rubbing necking and start checking out what's going on, and they have to hold them back. And it's like, no, sir, it's right to explain, right? So things are are really hitting up here, right? And you see some from where you are, you see somebody in this table, like one of the people sort of, yeah, you know, reach for a dagger, like they're ready mm -hmm. to get into fight. So, so yeah, things are are heating up, uh, in your favor, hundred percent. You have advantage right now. Um, Beautiful. Gar, uh, you expected the guards to come out, but now you hear shouting from inside, and, you know, flicking, like, what are you going to do? Oh, well, I guess fly on myself, and I chase after uh, okay. Lael. So, okay. you know, at 120 feet, I think I can keep up with them. Especially yeah. when I don't have to avoid anything on the ground. Did you summon your owl? No. Then you can't see him. Uh, I am... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I know where we stay. Where else could he be going? I mean, you can fly there, no problem. Yeah. I mean, I granted there's not any, like, blinking lights on the top of the buildings, but I don't think I'm going to fly into <laughs> one. Yeah. I mean, there's always lights on the city, you know, even, you know, they might not be as well lit, but there's always something or somebody, so it's a light here, a light there, so... It's okay to guide yourself, you know. Right. I just, uh, I'm just the point being that I fly and I basically can keep up with Lael if Lael is heading home. So Lael is running. Uh, so we're going to skip that. Uh, the guards are getting agitated and, and he's trying to calm down the uh, everybody. So you can see. Oh, yeah. He's calming them down. They're still on your side. You know, they're agitated, but he is calming them down. It's like, and trying to explain and also giving uh, orders to the guards to take positions, right? Yeah, at any moment, uh, things could turn very ugly, depending on what you do next, Marcus. Um, cool. I'm going to grab Kicks by the arm. Mm -hmm. And be uh, like, I, we are going to get out of here. I'm sorry you had to witness this, Baron. And I'm going to start leaving while, while actively getting the crowd riled up again. Okay. Your target is 21. You have advantage because you have companions with you that can help you. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can do. Oh, anything that scares people or makes them anxious or, you know. I have one spell that might be able to help me. I just need I, I just need to need, need to uh, to read it. Mm -hmm.
Okay. <laughs> um. Oh no, it's verbal somatic and material. Never mind. Yep. Always, always the tea. Oh, okay. always fun. Um. Yeah. So I'm not trying to get everybody else out. I'm just trying to get me and Kicks out of there. Yeah. The doors are now open because the guard opened the doors, but the other guards are trying to hold back people, right? Hundred percent. Okay, so our, this is this is with advantage. Come on. Yeah. Twenty five. Yeah. I go into a right old noble person who you just brought the the wrong the wrong sauce on his food. I just start going off as I'm walking out with kicks. As you do that, one guy here, you had the guy who had the knife out, he just jumps the guard. And it's just like stabs him in the neck. Like, ah! It's like, what the? And people start, you know, panicking. Because that and guy did that. I add it's into it's it, a brawl. I, I add brawl. into it and I'm like, you, there's people in here with knives? What type of establishment is this? As I'm dragging kicks out forcibly. You, you, you don't have to drag move. kicks out. Kicks is going to shoulder rush for you and go, oh, it's about time I think we leave with that. Yeah. And you see, you see, as you're going, the guy who's sitting in the window, he's like, he go into the window. Like, Thank you. He took all the money and like, you know. 100%. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, move. You can move your, your tokens. Uh, the guards are distracted, at least for now. Because there's a brawl here, right? Because they're fighting. So if you go in there, you might get into the fight. If you um, go around is, these... Like, using an action to move? Mm -hmm. We can get out of the building. Okay. So we're out of the building now. We're we are leaving. I am stomping off. My face is red. Like it's it's a whole thing. Well, that you have to run out if you're gonna do that. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. It's the this, equivalent of running, but it's just that fast. Yeah, this guy's like stop, stop, stop. It's like what? It's like, um, and you hear in the distance, um. You see movement, like people are like a group of guards are coming towards the uh, the establishment with the halfling in front of them. You don't know if they're city guards or some kind of reinforcement she's getting, but yeah, they're coming. We're we're getting the hell out of there. We're not staying yeah. around oh, for anything oh, else. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! I have to get this, and Kix will go pick up his sword from uh from the uh, container up front. Yeah. He'll go ahead and drain the rest of his glass, and he'll just toss the glass back on a table in there before it's going out. All right, I, good. I didn't show up with a weapon, <laughs> so I'm good. Okay, I need it. <laughs> uh, so Gar and Lael, they're fleeing to the city. You see, uh, and Lael clearly will see this as he passes by, mm -hmm. uh, that there are people that are uh, moving in um, in that direction. Um, to you know, to quell the now the riot that it's started inside the uh, inside of uh, the establishment. That's what I do, baby. That's what I do. I'd be a pissy noble. I make it happen. But yeah, you get out. You know, between the confusion and the spells and everything else, you get out. It is not as clean as uh, it was expected, but it worked. You didn't kill anybody, so that's good. I expected it to go down exactly like that, minus the darkness. Legitimately, I knew shit was gonna hit the fan at some point, and I was gonna have to, like have to act like a rich asshole. Uh, although the darkness kind of bought him some time, so that absolutely because they were not stupid enough to punch into darkness and I don't know what the hell was on the other side. Like I said, they're not they're not geniuses, but they're not completely stupid. So let's put you back in the free city map. Absolutely. You, um, you successfully raided the casino. Once, I don't think I don't think they're going to be welcome back though. That's uh, oh yeah, for the that's rest. that's fine. <laughs> Doesn't matter um, again unless we get back and it's a sandwich. Once we get a safe distance away, very good job, uh, Baron. That was uh, well played. What's the uh, term for when you're gambling? It's it's get out while you're ahead, isn't it? Absolutely. I think we've done that tonight. Oh, I didn't lose any money at all. Well, 
But now the real question is, I wonder if they've actually accomplished what they wanted to. I hope I'm sure so. we'll find out later. <laughs> hmm. What on earth do you think Gar got out of all this? Do you know what would be really funny? If it was just like a set of dice or something, you know? Or like a deck? Oh, it just... couldn't be that. I don't... Hmm. I don't think I've ever known him to be that petty. But he did rent out a whole bunch of rooms in he... Narwhal once. Are you kidding me? He's the definition of petty. Mm. Marcus doesn't know me like that. He's got greater <laughs> concerns. If Where's that coming from? It's for a reason. <laughs> oh, I don't doubt that. It's just, I like to have, I, 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 I like to, uh, to poke fun and read into Spent things. three days oh. looking for your family member. What the <laughs> fuck, Marcus? Look, Marcus, all I'm going to say is, if you see Obadiah over your shoulder asking for where his money's at, you just, just run. <laughs> Are you... We weren't implicated in that I'm not to kidding any logical either. degree whatsoever. You did lose your your stake though. Because that guy that guy took it from you, so those two hundred yeah. gold pieces cool. are gone. He you might get them back, you might not. It depends on how things go. Actually it depends on Gar because Gar is the contact, so Yeah, well. Campaign goes super litigious. You get called in by the constable for having witnessed the murder when that other guy stabbed a guy in front of you. And then the next 17 sessions are all courtroom cases. Oh, God. <laughs> I've, I've probably avoided multiple, like, long courtroom sessions because I actually hired someone who, who, who was competent. <laughs> Gotta change the uh, intro Still. to the campaign now. Do, 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 do. Marcus, <laughs> do you know where he's going to go? I don't think he'll show back up at the tavern if he has exactly what he wants. We would have discussed those details before yeah. going in. It wouldn't have been like a yeah. Let's just go somewhere random after we rob casino. Right. So yeah, uh, Leo and um, Gar, you go first. You you meet, I suppose, on the sleeping giant, right? Uh, yeah. And there's some there's still some street lights so the, the 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 there's actually a, a guild of lamp lighters so there's always you know, the street lights uh, are always on all right pando uh, do your best robert impression that's it my my next character oh. is going to be an apprentice uh, an apprentice uh, lamp lighter and oh. so uh what do you do you have the the items you have a tiara you have a a small bag of co uh, apparently coins, but you haven't opened it yet. And you have a uh, a deck of cards in a silk, wrapped in silk. Yeah, I land next to Leo, and I say in a very excited voice, did you get it? Uh, yes, I did. And I hold out the hand that's my actual hand, and not the skeleton hand wrapped in a glove. Yep, fair, fair um, enough, fair enough. Out of curiosity, oh, what the so guy much. gambled was a tiara, correct? The mm -hmm. the buddy of mine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. It was his mother's tiara, to be in fact. 100%. Yeah. Very expensive tiara. I just may have found a noble backer in the city. Yeah. On. Once I see that. Yeah, um... Lael probably just takes out the deck. Mm -hmm. Well, the rectangle wrapped in cloth. Yeah. Um, and, and hands it over. And I immediately cast Detect Magic on it. Yeah, both. So, uh, what is it? It and the bag uh, radiate magic. Oh, so it's like a bag of holding? You know, I, no, it's, I it's, also it's, cast it's, it's, Identify it's, also. It's a little uh, pouch. It's a basically money pouch, so it's not the size of a bag of hold. I mean, I'll, uh, I'll also it, cast identify, not ritual, like straight up. I think I, okay. I uh, uh, yeah, the deck. The deck is there, but the the uh, the back is. It's called a uh, a ever flowing pouch. It's less chaotic than what I was guessing. Dang. Well, I mean, we know it's not a bag of devouring because there's something yeah. in it. Uh, what it is, it kind of acts like a like a bag of holding. Uh, it can carry up to fifty pounds of, but only coins. 
but which is a lot. It's 50, 50 coins is one one pound. So at to 20, 2,500, uh, 2,500 uh, coins in that pouch. But there's more to it. It will always, always have at least one coin of the lowest denomination you put it there. Hence the ever flowing pouch, the you know money pouch. We ha do we have a platinum? There's only store platinum, multiply platinum. Um, by the way, where are we exactly? Are we inside or outside? Well, you land outside unless you. you I outside. would have yeah. said on the roof, because mm -hmm. uh, Lael can you know parkour his ass up to the roof, and I was flying, so I could. Yeah, sure. So what I'm going to say now is I'm holding and, and the deck. I, I'm holding. Let, let me say. Let me say this before you know. It's like, oh, I put a coin in it. You know, uh, that it takes a a long way. So you, let's say you have a coin per day. So it's not like you can point a coin. Point, you know, point one coin and then. I put a baby in there. Um, no, only, okay. Instant it, army. How long yeah. is a month in Greyhawk? Instant. You know what I mean. Uh, depends. Some of them are ten days. Some of them are thirty days. So let's say the average is twenty, right? Mm -hmm. That means within one month, we get 20 platinum. Or 200 gold, yeah. Yeah. Per month. That's just like, that. That that's just from platinum. And that's just from Not too bad. in the morning. There's a coin. Yeah, it's very much Goodfellas level. Don't spend that money. Where are they getting that yeah. money from? And somebody comes to assassinate you. Anyway, what I'm going to say <laughs> is... Is that I'm gonna either make you a very rich man, Lael, or I'm not. Because what I'm gonna do is, what do you I'm mean? gonna start drawing. I say Lael. That's, You're not oh no, there. That's, that's what his re that that was Lael. That's what his response. Oh, did was Pando's be. hand off to Justin? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, took it. I can't I wait took till it, Griffin baby. gets him. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing cards from this deck. And at some point, I might get stuff. And when I get that stuff, I am going to gift them to you. Wait, what? That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Any items, holdings, properties, whatever, I might get from this deck. I'm giving to you, Leo. Uh, well that... I mean, um... I, I don't know how Lael would respond. But uh, probably I, I, something like, uh, you know, that's not necessary. I think it would be a... To... That's not necessary, but um, what is this deck? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much the response Man, I'd expect. Lael, at what point did you get a psychological condition? <laughs> I feel like you're talking to me in two different voices. <laughs> Three different these are, voices. These are think. the outer voices, not the inner voices. You know. Anyways, when he says, what's that deck? I look down at the deck, eyes wide, and declare out of character that I draw all of the cards. Okay. okay. Here oh, we go. Which now, now, now the only Let's thing that it. matters is the order that the cards are drawn. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Destructional is assured. I oh, think we're using for this. I think we're using the uh, the in-game one there, Justin. Oh boy. Uh, it's okay. I have what they I'll do. Let me shuffle. If you want to shuffle the deck, yeah, shuffle You're the deck. pulling all of them, you you madman. It's the only way. Gar is an all all in guy. First card just nukes the entire city. I just I I hope you get get the cards you want. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna deal them up five. It's twenty two cards. I'm gonna deal them four by four. Okay. Hopefully you can see them. Well, the th no, I mean, I say the thing is, any one of them can kill me. So we gotta know the order. Um, yeah, that's, and, that's what I'm doing in four by four. One it's and two. two of explain out of Lessons. character. To explain uh -huh. out of character. Oh. To explain out of character why I said I would gift everything to Lael is that when this kills me, there's also cards that destroy everything I own. If I give it to somebody else and say it's their property, yeah, it doesn't get destroyed. That okay. way, even if I die, Lael comes out of this a winner. 
and he did all the work to get it, so it only makes sense. A yeah. verbal okay, will. so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to draw them. I already draw two of diamonds. Okay, two uh, of diamonds is not um, bad work. It's... Before we continue drawing, like, mine have artwork and stuff. I can easily flash it on camera so we don't just have to do the translation between the whatever of clubs to this, to what it does. Yeah, it's it, two of diamonds is a comet. Yeah, which means nothing because I'm not going to get into a fight by the time I die. Unless I somehow summon death and then kill death, it doesn't yeah. matter. But it's a, it's there. So yeah. start, start. You can start you, if you want to. Uh, Justin, um, take out the Still cards. And put, them down. You, no, you have the cards and you would tell you what to do. So as I call them out, have them so we know what they're doing. Uh, Sorry, I thought I heard. I thought I heard. Go ahead. So oh, I dropped no, one. No, that's it. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna draw them. But that's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did uh, one. King, King of Spades. That, that ain't good. That's ruin. <laughs> yeah. That's, rest in peace. Yeah. Everything. Well, see, that's the thing, though. Oh no. That's good to have happened first because if I then get anything else, then True. it still goes to him. But that just means I've lost my uh, ring of protection because I forgot to give. I forgot to give that away. Also, the any six scrolls you had don't have any. The six gold okay. I had aren't on me anymore because either. This is building and land you are lost in a way that alters reality the least. Oh and wait, no. Uh, ruin is all wealth that you own, other than magic items. The ring of protection is fine. Yeah. That yeah. six gold that I had is gone. And so it's your laboratory. Buildings and land. Oh yeah, yeah. The um, the tower is gone. The tower. Um, That's gonna be a fun surprise. To, do we want to pull them all now? I can lay them out in order, and then we'll go through the order. No, no, I, I, I want to do it like this, because, you know, build up okay. the momentum scene. Because oh, oh. I, I can do the 22, Our... but then, you know, that would be... Yeah. Be because so Kix is the lord, does he actually own the tower and not Gar? No. No. So I'm just putting this in the... No, I, yeah. I own it. I'm technically okay. like a secondary lord of the land. Yeah, yeah. I just don't have yeah. any of the political power. I have... Does that mean that our... So, in no, whatever the keep way, it's alters reality the okay. least. The, the tower it, is part of the keep. It's separate from the keep, though. Yeah. So the ca yeah. basically, you guys lost the castle, but not the keep. It's no longer a castle because that's the second part that made it a castle. So I just put it in the wizard tower. So yeah, I put yeah. it in the, the chat so it's known and remember the tower is gone, the gold's gone, the lab's gone, and the astro lab is gone. Yeah. Yep. So the third one. Jack of Hearts. Jack. Jack of Hearts. Star. I th or not Star. Uh, knight. So, Jack of Hearts is Knight. Correct. Fourth level fighter. Love yeah. Fourth level fighter, baby. Here's no space within 30 feet of you. Hey, On the you roof! You get an ally to fight, the... <laughs> so an ally to fight death. <laughs> Here's the <laughs> weird thing is that you control this character, it says. So, what happens when guard dies? He walks away. Yeah, walked away. He walked okay. away. Character. Okay. He's no longer bound by your the, service. The hilarity yeah. of the scenario is if I pull death, quick, distract death. Oh, yeah. no, wait, because then a uh, second death would be summoned to fight the, the fighter. One, yeah. But so, he could yeah. still fight the first one while fighting happens. a second You guys one. are on the roof, right? Uh, yeah. The fighter. A, a, a guy just, you know, it's like. It's a it's so a portal like, fight too. Hey guys, yeah. what you the doing on the roof? Guy. Yeah, he's like, what's going on here? I'm gonna hang out with you guys. This looks fun. What are we doing? Tarot cards? <laughs> tarot cards. <laughs> Remember, I control this guy. I can make him as yeah. funky as I want. Oh dear. You're here, outside. Here comes the fourth one. Hey, hey, hey guys, you're outside. <laughs> Jack of clubs. Uh, Jack of clubs. Skull. That skull. The summon an avatar of death, a ghostly yep. human skeleton, clad in shadow, and care. It appears to face team choice within two feet of you, attacks you, warning all others that you must win the battle alone. The avatar fights you die or drops to zero hit points, whereupon it appears. Uh, if anyone tries to help, the help to someone's own avatar of death, a creature slain by the avatar of death cannot be restored to life. So, what are the hit points of the avatar of death? Let's see. Okay, here's the thing. Well, let's just roll initiative first. Mm hmm. Because well, the first thing I'll do is I'll cast the sphere on myself, which means it can't affect me. And then I'll just have the rest of the time to keep pulling cards. If it can't kill me in one turn, it's not going to affect me at all. 
Prime Python paralyzes uh, all language known traits in corporeal movement. The movement can move through other creatures and objects. They were difficult terrain. It takes 1d10 force damage. Yeah, it can actually go through the sphere. Hold on, let me just hit the button to make absolutely yeah. sure. I think the sphere might still prevent that, but we'll see. Don't think we'll see. anything. Nothing, Don't not physical it. objects, energy, or other spell effects can pass through the barrier. Yeah, so. Yeah, I should be fine. What's your. I didn't really. Hold on. Yeah. It has for a one minute at a time. Damn it, always. I always fail. So, can it Ooh. kill me in one turn? They move up to him and then tries to strike, right? Exactly, yeah. Uh, I have a question. Mm hmm. Is the fighter that was summoned able to uh, to reduce the dam to reduce the damage or give disadvantage? Because he would have a fighting if, style. If he if he interferes, another death will attack him. Basically, another Fair one enough. will appear and just you know distract them. Uh, summoner. So it has your it has your own uh, attack die, so it's plus two. Yeah, it's plus two to everything. So what's your just plus four, right? So it's plus six to that. Plus six. Yikes. Is this? Let me check. Um, yeah, I don't think he can kill me one turn, though. Um, I know I would do this as a DM based off of where we are. Mm -hmm. What time of day is it? It's nighttime. nighttime. Is there guards in the area? Uh... I mean, they should be. Would they attack death? Again, more death would appear. They would never oh, no, really... I don't know it. I, I, I think it's Marcus is implying that... Marcus is implying that he wants all of Greyhawk to die tonight. There, that, there's a tragedy in play. That's why I'm checking. Like, realistically, what, if the guards saw... That was on the, the roof. Avatar so. of death attacking yeah, something. I mean, it is on the roof, and it's also in part of town that a lot of guards don't go to. Because otherwise, you're implying a totally predator acceptable. scenario of put your guns down and only attack people who have guns. 100%. No, no, no. This is just me going, oh crap, you're doing something crazy. <laughs> let's let's accept the, the actual reality. I want to keep that one in mind in the future. <laughs> okay, so uh, turning immunity, hit point, or reaping oh. side, uh, that sweeps the spectral slide through the creature with a five feet from Denny. It actually yeah. doesn't, doesn't have. It doesn't do a lot a, of damage. No, no, but it doesn't actually have, have an attack action either. It just says. It yeah, has the Reaping to... Swipe that does uh, regular uh, damage and uh, necromatic damage, but it's like 1d8 yeah. plus something and 1d6 plus something. Yeah. It can't kill me in one turn. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the bright side, you get to live and then gain 50,000 XP and go to level 11. I'm going to die by the end of this. There's two cards that are unavoidably going to kill me, so. Mm -hmm. So but still, you know, and any chance I have of like, here, hold on to this card. This could save me if this happens. Goes away because I'm in a bubble now. I mean, What's your armor class right now? Get Twenty. Soul imprisonment, and then 20, yeah. I'll be able to do anything ever again. No, oh, it's about seven. Yeah. Okay. It misses. It misses. I bubble. Although, you know, the funny thing is I was super afraid of death, and now I realize I can actually kill death, and it would fill the first card of me if getting in a one-on-one -on -one battle. It's like, you know what, yeah. it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. Like there, but... Yeah. Also, I mean... is Leo aware that a second death will spawn if he attacks? Uh, it, the death says to fight one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and I think, I think Gar would also say, because Gar's in the know, don't fight it. Yeah. And then bubble up. Mm -hmm. So now it's back to drawing cards. Ignore the rest of the fight. Until, un until the bubble goes away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got one minute right now. Yeah. And then oh, you have to do it again. enough to draw every Yeah, card. ten rounds. But again, even if it hits me, I can bubble again. No problem. The thing ain't going to kill me, even if it hits me every turn. For all Next card is going to be immediately draw your soul into hell. Yeah. The, the question <laughs> is will he draw Moon before he draws Void? Okay, here comes the next card. Void isn't even the worst. Ooh, Joker. Which Joker is that technically? Because a Joker with TM, Joker without TM. Is that what? That's without TM. 
Let's see what Do you have a trademark Joker in the in that deck? Do you no. know? Well then, no, I don't. Know. Red or black? Do you want to uh, roll a D two? Like we'll roll it. You roll it. Yeah. Okay. One being TM, two being uh, without yep. TM. Mm -hmm. So that's right. with TM. Got fool. So that's the fool. I think that's the one where you lose XP. You lose 10,000 10, experience. experience. Discard this card and draw from the deck again, counting both draws as one of your declared draws. Yeah, if losing I'll... that much XP will cause you to lose level. You instead lose an amount that leaves you with just enough XP to keep you at your Right, level. so no you, real effect. You go to 48,000 instead of 48,500. Not even going to bother to keep track of it. I'm going to be dead by the end. Okay, here comes the next one. The other Joker. The other Joker. <laughs> Convenience. You gain 10,000 XP. <laughs> You're <laughs> or you can one, draw one, two one. additional guards beyond your declared draws, which is all the deck. So it doesn't matter. 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 I, mean, cards. I instantly yeah. become another level or something, but whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm going to be dead by the end. Yeah, you see the, the, the death drive. How would you be at? Um, I, I, I just want to keep track Actually, of this. Actually, 58,000. Then when he goes up by 50,000, he gets to level 12. <laughs> So he's at 58k. Instantly learns a spell that will save him from the other th <laughs> You know, that, yeah. would, that would work if I was a cleric. If I was a cleric, they have a spell that would save me from that card's effect. But King of Diamonds. King, King of Thun. Thun. I think you gain 50,000 XP and wonders, <laughs> and a wondrous item which is randomly appears in your hands. Alright, so he's at 108,000 now, XP. Now wait, before we draw the next card, what's the wondrous point, item? Oh, I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> Here's the thing. A wondrous item might actually be able to save me. Um, or it might do the thing. Oh, no, I'm forced to draw. It doesn't matter. But the wondrous yeah. item could save me. You are also technically level 12 right now. Yeah, but that's... Above XP and, or I, above HP and spells. I don't know what level spells I'd be at. To, and I don't think... None, um, of, none of the save you spells are wizard spells. They're all cleric spells. You get six level spells. Right, but again, all the spells that could save also, me or prevent me from dying are cleric spells, so... Necromancy thing at 10th level. You have resistance to necrotic damage. Because the thing is, even if I stop drawing cards right now, in by the end of the hour, all the cards fly out of the deck and their effects go simultaneously, so... Okay, I want you to roll a 1d4. If you all get right. a 1, tell me. Otherwise... By the way... Oh, shit, I just hit a button, and what did I do? Oh, there we go, sorry. Apparently holding my push-to-top button and hitting the 4 on the numpad mm -hmm. does weird things to my... Uh, 3. A 3? Okay. But, but uh... By the way, just throw this out there before you tell me. Uh, campaign concept. You've declared that you're going to draw from the deck of many things and said you were going to draw all the cards. You draw one card, you have an hour left to try and save yourself. Campaign starts now. Go. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, you uh, a gem appears in your hand. Uh, a roll a on other one d four. Two. Uh, it's a yellow diamond. This is a wondrous item. Yes. It's an elemental gem. The gem consists of a note of elemental enemy. When you start an action to break the gem, elemental summons you. You cast a conjure elemental spell, and the spell's magic is lost. The tab element gem determines elemental song by the spell. A you know it's a a, a gem is a okay earth no, elemental. A earth elemental, yeah. I was about to say possibility of summoning negotiate which cast wish. Uh no, but it wouldn't work. I'm in the bubble in the bubble. Yeah, anyway. Uh anyway. Uh the jackass oh, and me yeah. says, swallow the gem. <laughs> Uh, Next I can't yell through the bubble either. I can't shout, yeah. hey, this gem is yours! <laughs> Jack uh, of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds is star. Increase one of your ability scores, scores by two. two. Yep. Mm -hmm. Score can exceed 20. Cool, I have 22 intelligence now. I'm super intelligent. You are the smartest person in Greyhawk right now. Level 12, 22 intelligence. Gonna be dead, and I know it. <laughs> King of Clubs. King of Clubs. Is the Void. Hey, Void comes. 
Oh, well, it's not going to cause disaster. You can soul strong in your body. Going to tell you how to place of choice. One more of your powerful beings guard the place while your soul is trapped this way. Your body is incapacitated. A wish spell can restore your own soul, but the spell reveals location object that it holds it. You draw no more cards. Yep. Yep. And in a, a minute, at the end of the minute, the bubble. No, it's a concentration spell. The moment yeah. that happens, the moment that happens, boom, Gar's body collapses to the ground in front of Lael. Uh, there is that, uh, that gem is still there, though. And I did tell him anything that's mine is yours. Yeah, it starts rolling, and, and you see the fighter who's like, oh, oh, I guess I have to leave then. And he starts climbing down. <laughs> he, he walks away. Bye, so guys. This um, was fun. <laughs> Say goodbye to death for me. Does death kill Gar's body? Probably. Should be yeah. at, at it yeah. the whole time. So yeah, his soul is gone. He has no body to return to. It can't be brought with back without a wish. And now he also can't be resurrected either. Man, <laughs> yeah. If I had anybody to avenge me, if they had what anybody happens? to avenge me, this would be quest upon quest. I gotta get Zulgar's soul back to put into a body that I'll make for him, so that he can then go on a quest to get his dead family back. From yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you give me just one more draw, just so I know what would have been next? Yeah. Okay, one more time. The gambler in me just wants to know. Gambler goes fallacy. The queen of diamonds. Oh, that was moon. That's wish. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to know. <laughs> that's the one you, that's what you wanted. No, that's actually, wanted. the one I wanted was fate. Uh, but, moon would have been the secondary, because... Wishes yeah. will fuck with you. Fate is just reverse something that happened to you in the past. Yeah, so here's what happens. Uh, the void happens. And it, it, you're inside the bubble. Nobody sees what's going on. All of a sudden, the bubble disappears. And, and, and you see the body starts falling. And as he falls, you know, the, the death brings his slice around and just, you know, cuts your head off, right? And then... As you fall and you're and you're in your shell, so your shell was gonna tumble out. Actually, it starts, you know, going like this. He he salutes and disappears. You know, the hilarity of that is mechanically, death on average damage would have been swinging at me for a full minute before my head actually comes off. Yeah, but that's the effect. Probably could have yeah. just killed him. Um, yeah. especially with like a six level spell at your disposal. Well, yeah, no, oh. death could barely hurt me as it was. Death was apparently not as imposing as I thought he would be. But at the no. same time... Yeah, how much HP do you have? Well, I had 68 at the level I was. So he would have had 34 HP. Mm -hmm. Which is at like... Least... But I, yeah, I leveled up to 12 for a moment there, so... Yeah, but it has the HP that it was summoned with, so it had 34, it would not go up. Yeah. No, 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 I just mean that the amount of time per average damage or per hit oh, yeah, that it was yeah. taking on it me would have, done. would have taken it forever to kill my unconscious body. And because you kept, you know, the cards keep coming out, because you shuffle them off, not, you know, they stop when you... Yeah, they stop. Yep, yep. So the deck Void is there. That they stop. And the cards are there, so Leo can... Leo, do you know what happened? I just got back. What am I missing? Well, you might want to put the queen back in there, since technically that didn't get drawn. Yeah. 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 So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So nine out of 22 cards were drawn. Yeah. What cards were drawn again? Because I, I went to shuffling. Actually, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, I, I apologize. I, I just got back. What did I miss? You missed uh, uh, Gar's death. All right. Oh, Do Gar you... is actually dead. Yes, yes, to paint the scene for you, Gar is up here on the roof for you. You hand over the deck. He declares he will draw every card, and then things just start happening, including a skeleton with a reaper scythe. A random guy gets up on the roof with you and chills out with you for a minute. He covers himself with the bubble to become invulnerable to all effects, and then the light leaves his eyes and his corpse drops to the ground, and then his head gets cut off. Also, yeah, you I gifted you everything I own. Including uh, the deck. Of many things. Yeah, oh, the, the deck, uh, the things I'm carrying, which is still the Ring of Protection plus one, which I, you know you wanted, and there's a gem now, like at my body's feet or something like that. That's a yellow you don't gem. Need the tower. Uh, yeah, you do. You gifted him the tower. 
You said everything you own. Yes, that's right. That's in fact the point of the what I did. So, yeah. So also, uh, Robert, uh, playing Lael the monk, is now in charge of a wizard's tower. I guess at least Lael can concentrate on two spells at once. Yes, that's true. (laughs) Also, yeah, I guess technically you also get my title in our organization because that's. Something yep. I and can the, get you. And that's, the deck is there on the floor. You can, it's also yours now. So, uh, yeah, but again, remember, remember that the queen is also still in the deck. Okay, yeah, Okay. Uh, so I, I had to reshuffle. Yeah, the shuffle, only way yeah. I can do this is reshuffle. So May, yeah. may, I, yeah. may I inquire then, like, what cards are eliminated from the deck? The ones that are on the field. A except lot for of the bad ones. Except for the yeah, queen of diamonds. Well, there's still one in there that will kill you instantly. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's one card that will kill you instantly. Otherwise, there's a lot of Let's go through the list. Also, yeah, though, I, I, also I, I, the I, the fifty, the fifty thousand XP one is also gone, though. I, I I'm also I, I apologize if I'm being very um, needy or belligerent right now. I have no idea what the fuck those cards mean. 